Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about that Barbie movie again. Remember mm. that? Yeah, I tried not to. Boy, I, there were some good parts. The clothes were cute. The clothes were cute. It looked fun. It, it was part of a good movie. I, I didn't see it. Uh, I went to Oppenheimer instead. Um, I would not advise going to Oppenheimer this weekend, though. Very unfortunate uh, uh, choice of dates for that movie. I'm just saying, look at the calendar. Look at the look at the look at the dates. You don't yeah, don't go this weekend. That's my personal opinion. Some people are going to go just for the irony of it. But, yeah, uh, I'm sure they will. Uh, go to Barbie instead. If you have to go see one of these two movies, or Haunted Mansion. Haunted Mansion wasn't as terrible as yeah, wasn't that terrible? So. We're going to talk about this. Uh, I got to give a hat tip to Ninja Turtles is out this weekend. Oh, Ninja Turtles. Yeah, it looks Go terrible. Go see that. Too. Really? Problem solved. I don't know. It's the it other option. Look, it doesn't look that good. If you, like, if, it's a, it's if you have to option. leave the house and you have to watch a movie, don't go, go see it. Oppenheimer. I didn't see I don't know anything about I mean, I thought people said it was pretty good, Ninja Turtles. I don't know. Ow. I haven't looked, but. Eh. Eh, I'm we'll too see. busy to go to the movie again. Anyway, yeah, we we went to uh, what two or three movies in the course of two weeks, and that's that, that like. Great King's out until uh, you know Five Nights at Freddy's comes out, and then pretty much, he'll go to the theater for that. Much. I think a lot of people are. Uh, so yeah, Aurelius Jacus hashtag we want cards. Okay. Neon, welcome to Stupid Town. I have been in Stupid Town most of my adult life, but thank you. I don't want to be in Stupid the, Town. <laughs> thank you for the warm. I walk. can't take stupid people. It hurts. Uh, women are deciding to break up with their boyfriends after watching Barbie. So, and it's TikTok. TikTok told women to break up with their boyfriends if they don't agree, they don't get the message and agree with it. Yeah, so we're going to talk about this. There are a lot of things going on here, I think, that are all kind of interconnected. Well, what's sad is that there's so many people that are just like brainwashed by TikTok that they do whatever TikTok tells them. It's ridiculous. You still think it's not a Chinese psyop? I, I, I'm just saying. I'm just they're, they tell you to do stupid, like Tide Pod Challenge, all this shit that comes from these places, and people do it because they're, I mean, it, they're just dumb. Yes. People are, people are being brainwashed by social media. If you're, so. Yeah. If you want to talk about a real case for brainwashing, I would argue TikTok. But anyway, continue. Well, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. Go up to clownfishtv.com for more objective news. Go to shop clownfish dot com to buy our merch and geeky will give you a woohoo woohoo you'll get two woohoos if you buy something well if you go to tiktok and, and put the merch up everybody will buy it <laughs> so, yeah because they'll do anything that they're no, that's, that's what's going on like they'll take that people will have merchandise and they're trying to get it on tiktok with the right type of person to promote it the right type of person I'm, i mean like right influencer have enough subscribers and followers because as soon as they do they like sell out because these people are they don't think like i don't that's only a thousand bucks and I only have 800, but I'll find a way to get the money and buy it anyway because I'm supposed to because TikTok told yeah. me. Like, oh my God, I need that. Like jacket. My own kids do that. No offense to my kids. They don't listen to very videos anyway, but I know for a fact both <laughs> This of is them, the one they'll listen to. But Binky Boo mostly was like, you know, I have to buy that because I saw it on TikTok and it's like, oh my God. <laughs> so, well, enjoy it now because I have a feeling TikTok will be gone uh, here within the next couple of years, but we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, Unilad, uh, women are deciding to break up with their boyfriends after watching Barbie. Um, Barbie, of course, is making uh, a lot of money mm -hmm. because it's Barbie. And I, I think people don't realize what it actually is until they've already spent their money. Even even the um, even the pitch meeting guy at one point in the, in the video that they do one for Barbenheimer and like they're talking about the patriarchy, the patriarchy, and he rolls up a piece of paper and hits him with it. He goes, did you literally just hit me with a message? And it's like, that's what this is like. Yeah. And it's like, they're telling women if men don't, men don't like it. I'm like, I'm a woman and I didn't like it. I thought it was so ham fisted. It was ridiculous. And don't tell me, Oh, it's nuance. It's par bullshit. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. So, yeah, they're talking about the Margot Robbie thing. They're showing the trailer because, of course, you got to throw video ads on here. Um, the movie has been a smash hit at the box office and earned Greta Gerwig a place in the history books, the highest grossing movie ever by a female director. It's also gone down incredibly well with viewers, so much that some women are even vowing to ditch their boyfriends if they don't agree with the movie's feminist messaging. Okay, what part? The part where women treat men like shit, and then when men get a little bit of power, they go crazy with it because they want to, they basically, ultimately, he just wanted her attention. And he's like, I don't even like patriarchy. I just like horses, and I didn't know that it wasn't about horses. The part, or the part where women are brainwashed, and when a, and when, when a, a toxic male, you know, talks to you, that you're going to be brainwashed and go along with it because you don't have no defenses against it, like smallpox. 
I was like, I, I don't know. I mean, for this uplifting movie, I was, I was like kind of offended as a woman. I'm like, wait, what? I'm too stupid as a woman to know the difference. The craze is taken off on TikTok, of course. And I have to wonder if this is manufactured, right? Uh, where one user said bluntly, take your boyfriend to Barbie if he doesn't understand it, dump him. Do they actually take it? Well, understand what part? Because apparently I misunderstand Barbie and I'm a woman. If you're what is the point of Barbie? I mean, honestly. They're like toxic, you know, you know they're, they're, the point is supposed to be that both, uh, you know, patriarchy and matriarchy extremes are bad. That, I guess that's supposed to be the point. But they end it with, and they could have proven that point. But instead, they're like, well, maybe someday you'll have as much, you almost have as much power as the women in the real world. I'm like, see, now when you did that, you just completely you ruined the message. And yeah. Barbie's not happy with herself. She has to become human with a vagina at the end. I'm like. I. I was like, I had that film. As you told me about this movie, and I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, it might be a little ham fisted, whatever. But you're like, oh yeah, no, the the ending scene. Spoiler, if you haven't seen it, the ending Everybody's scene. Everybody's talked about it already. Barbie going to the gynecologist, like that is. Barbie goes to the gyno at the end instead of mm-hmm. John dies at the end. Barbie goes to the gyno. At I'm the just end. like, that is like what? And it's supposed to be about finding yourself and knowing your place. And like, there's a place for Barbie, a place for Ken, and they're both their individual people. And I like that. And they could have gone with that, but there were so many ways they could have got that message across without being condescending, ham fisted, and, and kind of a bitch. And you know, and they're, that's what they're doing. Barbie gets ham fisted at and the she's, end. She's just, she's just, yeah. She they, the whole thing is like these. They're and then, then my next thing is she's stereotypical Barbie. There's not even a stereotypical Barbie out there. What the fuck is even stereotypical Barbie? Like, what is that even? Like, I have Dr. Barbie and whatever, but there's stereotypical Barbie. And I'm like, there's no such thing. There's not even a real stereotypical Barbie out there. So that's is stupid. She, is she like $5 Barbie? Just just Barbie? She has I no special, know. but it's just $5 Barbie. I'm just, I, the whole thing's stupid. And I'm, I just, the whole, I don't understand it. I mean, it and was. And he did wish Barbie. <laughs> I was just mad. I was just like, you know, there's a couple bright spots like, you know, Weird Barbie and, Al- and Alan, you know, those are the bright spots. But I've already done a review. You can go watch the review. But I'm just what? like, I'm sorry. But then telling people, like, you take your, your boyfriend so that they don't agree with it. Dump them. Well, of course they're going to agree. What guy? I mean, unfortunately, there are several because I've had to hear about it from them. But most guys aren't going to go to the movie and be told that they're, you know, constant, the place that they even joke that you're hitting them with the message. And they're going to be like, yeah, that's fine. You're right, baby. You should have way more power than me. I thought the point was we should be equal and we should all be ourselves. And we should all have a, you know, we shouldn't have to be pretty for another person or look a certain way to get their attention or, you know, no, sorry. It's time for Barbie and Peg Time Ken. And what time? Peg. Peg Time Ken, yeah. Peg Time Ken. Anyway, I'm sorry. You can talk. Um, I, I, I mean, you see, I just. See, you, it doesn't matter if I talk. I'm just a man. You're Knuff. I'm not, a, I'm not Knuff. I'm neat enough. You need enough. Well, need enough. Yeah, there you need an end. Yeah. Uh, that was dumb. Anyway, this movie sounds dumb. I haven't even seen it. And I'm just like, this sounds really bad. I mean, maybe it's a lot more entertaining when you watch it because I've heard the plot synopsis of movies and I'm like, God, that sounds awful. And then I watch it. I'm like, OK, it wasn't as bad when you actually see it. Okay. They're talking about Barbie should be a test to see if your boyfriend's a good long-term relationship. Meanwhile, Reddit, okay, I feel like I'm the asshole for letting the Barbie movie affect my relationship. You are. You are. You are. And the way I see my boyfriend. What? Because he didn't agree. Because the movie literally spends the majority of time shitting on men, making men out to be toxic assholes. Um, even the ones like Ken, who supposedly was a toxic asshole, becomes a toxic asshole because they're brainwashed by the patriarchy. And men are offended by it, which, hell, I'm a woman and I'm offended for them. Okay, I was I'm a mom. I have a boy and a girl and I was offended for my son. Okay, and then you're like, well, if they don't they don't agree with it, then you should dump them. I'm like, well, no, they, they're probably better off. Please, by all means, dump them because they deserve someone a hell of a lot better because you're a dumb bitch who's <laughs> corrupted by TikTok and your own complete, you know, obsession with yourself. So, you know what? They're better off. Let them go. Friends have been telling me I shouldn't let alter the way I view my boyfriend because our relationship is really good and well, healthy. Well, not now because that's a you problem, not a him problem. If it was good and healthy before, going to this movie and him being like, no, this is stupid, is a you problem. I've been also sending him nonstop TikToks and tweets about the Barbie movie and saying that men wouldn't understand. If my boyfriend doesn't understand, then we should. I should rethink our whole relationship, which is what I've been doing lately. You know, if you're sending him nonstop texts, and tweets with their man bashing and TikToks about and be like, you know, I really, maybe we should rethink our relationship. He's probably like, you know, maybe we should, maybe I'm enough for Alan. Well, <laughs> Here, if, if, okay. Uh, if, if, if he was sending you nonstop messages talking about how, you know, you're less than, and that, you know, that women are terrible and they're bitches and all that stuff, you'd probably get mad. 
I yeah. mean, if you're setting, I mean, you know, I mean, what do you expect? One woman took it a step further, revealing she actually dumped her boyfriend after he refused refused to wear pink to go watch Barbie, saying it would have meant a lot to her and it showed that he supports me. Be careful out there, guys. So this this I believe is somewhat related. God, those guys are so much better off. Yeah. And then when they go date somebody else and they're better than you, you don't get to there and stalk them on 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 social media and be jealous little bitch because it's your own fault. That tends to happen. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, that does tend to happen. Sometimes, sometimes you get dumped and then your ex after they dump you stalks you for years. But here's the thing. It's like, then why did you dump me in the first place? Here's <laughs> yes, a good point. Here's the thing. If you're if you have a healthy relationship and you had a good relationship before, okay. If like someone was already an asshole, that's different. Yeah. But if you had a good relationship and they're supportive of you and you're always and you have a really healthy good relationship, now you're thinking about dumping your boyfriend because he didn't like your damn Barbie movie. Are you kidding me? Then let him go have a healthy relationship with somebody who deserves him because that's stupid. Now if they're a fucking asshole, that's a different story. But then you need a better reason than Barbie to dump their ass. But whatever. So, I believe this is related. Uh, more and more young men are becoming more and more conservative and or apathetic toward uh, these liberal talking points. Like uh, I think that everybody, current year feminism. I think yes. everybody is. I don't think it's just a teenage boy thing. Everybody is. My daughter is. Yeah. She's not a boy. No. Everybody's sick of it. She's the one that was going about Barbie being bullshit first because she was the one that had the most high expectations for it. It was like, what the hell was that? She loved Barbie. She used to watch the Barbie movies all the time when she was little. She went home and watched the Barbie movies again and Life in the Dream House because they're much better. Life in the Dream House is actually really good. It's very clever. Uh, Yeah, but they said that young men, teenage boys in particular, are leaning more conservative probably because they're tired of being told throughout school, especially public school, that uh, they're not enough, mm-hmm. that they're they're never going to be enough, and that they are uh, basically, you're basically a rapist until proven otherwise. Right. I mean, and that's you, and kind you, of you're, the, you're just an ally. And, you have to always yeah. be an ally. You have to, you have to be Alan. Basically. Always. And it's, and it's you know, but I don't think it's just teenage Friend boys. Zoned, I always. think in general. Because you have to remember, too, where's the goalpost now? Because what used to be considered left is considered all right now. I know, right. I mean, so it's like, a lot of people will probably stay exactly where they always were, and then they're just labeling them as highly conservative, even if they aren't, because they they just rational people are like, this is going too far, this is stupid. Well, you're clearly alt right. Oh my god, they're conservative. Everybody's turning conservative. I just don't understand it. They're calling Obama conservative now. I've seen all these quote unquote think pieces on these garbage tier websites calling Obama a conservative now. Like they're pissed off at Joe Biden because he's not enough for them. You know, I'm like, this is, is getting the point of just being absolutely ridiculous. And so maybe the, maybe the whole purpose of this, all of it, TikTok and all of it is, is to keep Americans from reproducing. So we just die out. If you're not the person you're dating is an avid TikTok watcher and depending on what they watch, cause there's some, there's some stuff on there, that, you know, yeah. pretty benign, but if they're out, then, you know, maybe not date them, but this is the guardian. I know. So I'm what do you fucking expect? Oh, no. I, I've just seen several. I, this is one example. I've seen several articles. Everybody's flipping out because they're like, oh, my God, young men are becoming more conservative now. And, and it's an opinion piece written yeah. by a woman. Well, they had a, they had some stats out there, I guess. And that's what well, was going but on. where they get the stats from. Because, you know, remember t- or Twitter back before it got well, a couple of years ago, the stats were saying that it was all it was a conservative nightmare, you know, hellhole. Yeah. And I'm like, not that I've seen. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's more so now because people like aren't being throttled every five seconds. But, you know, I think, um, yeah, I just think that actually social media, it's a double edged sword. I think that in some ways it was making people a lot more ridiculous. And I think it shines a spotlight on ridiculous people, but I think it could go one of two ways. Either you start to act ridiculous too, as we saw with Twitter, or you look at this and you're like, God, these people are nuts. I don't want to be anything like them. This doesn't even make sense. Like there are so many people right now that have, have a platform on social media. None of these people would have been allowed out in public 20 years ago. They would have been in their houses, monitored, or in a <laughs> mental institution, monitored, and nobody would have paid them any mind. You never w- would have known that they existed. And now, because everybody has access to social media, everybody's opinions, no matter how garbage they are, are out there. 
And TikTok really, for some reason, put, shines a huge spotlight on like how mentally ill some people are. That's I mean, true. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not even joking. I'm not being like, oh, they're crazy. No, I'm like, you look at some of these TikToks, and these people are legit mentally. Ill. Well, you have people on TikTok too that are doing things like they know will harm people and telling them to do stuff, and then people are getting sick or dying yeah. because you know a lot of times it's kids, and it, like they get off on knowing that these people are going to hurt themselves what they're telling them, and they're you know unless there's repercussions for it, they don't stop. Yeah, so I think breaking up with your boyfriend over the Barbie movie again, if you had other issues, and that was just the cherry on the the Sunday that's that's one thing but if you're breaking up with your boyfriend because it's trendy on TikTok you are the asshole and mm-hmm. you are probably mentally ill right and he's better off without you I agree all right we're gonna wrap this up yep please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants guys we'll talk later bye <laughs>